Hey everyone, welcome to Moving Matt. We do all things cameras with a dash of logs and a little bit of travel. And today we finally have confirmation that Canon's gonna be releasing an APS-C RF camera in 2022. The question is, what will this camera be? Or is it possible that this will be more than one camera? So if you're watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you know what an APS-C camera is, but in case you don't, I will briefly explain. Basically an APS-C camera refers to the size of the sensor. An APS-C sensor is quite a bit smaller than a full frame sensor, which allows the camera to crop into an image and give a little bit more reach to its lenses. And usually it does so in a smaller package. So now that that's out of the way, let's get into this news. So Canon released a CR3, which to them means it's essentially fact that there is gonna be an APS-C camera coming out in 2022. Now they're not exactly sure which one it's gonna be, but that is why I'm here to speculate. So in order to make a little bit more of an educated guess, let's go over some of the older rumors that we've had about an APS-C camera coming from Canon. So originally about a year and a half to, I guess it was two years ago now, we were hearing about a Canon EOS R7, which was supposed to be their flagship APS-C camera. And we were hearing that it was actually in the wild. It was pretty much ready Ready to go and it was essentially going to have similar specs to the R6 but it was going to be in an APS-C body. Then fast forward about six months and with all the crazy things that's happened in the world and pretty much all the rumors going dry, Canon rumors came out and said that they weren't even sure that there's gonna be an APS-C camera coming from Canon anymore. And the rumor was that Canon was still gonna be doing marketing research to find out if an APS-C camera was even a good idea at this point. Judging from the relatively high views I get when I talk about an APS-C RF camera, then I'd actually say that there's quite a bit of demand out there for this type of camera. And apparently Canon's research agreed because a couple months back, we got information about a new BSI APS-C sensor coming from Canon. Canon rumors speculated that it would be somewhere between 28 and 32 megapixels and they thought that it was gonna be used on more than one camera. But we've also heard that Canon doesn't have any plans to bring any smaller glass and that they're gonna be using essentially whatever glass that they have now, but on an APS-C camera. So I think that that kind of gives us a little bit of a clue of which camera will be coming at least first. So assuming that they're not planning on developing any new lenses right away, then I think it makes most sense for a Canon EOS R7, which is gonna be a more of their high-end flagship APS-C camera, more than say like an EOS M line. And that also goes along with the fact that it has a BSI sensor. I think if they're gonna put a brand new sensor into something, they're gonna to wanna to recoup their R&D cost with a more high-end camera before they bring it in to say like a cheaper type camera. An R7 user I think is going to be a little bit more concerned with the extra reach that they can get out of their camera more than just the size of the glass. I think if you're gonna be doing a lot of wildlife photography and you're maybe wanting a lot of reach, then your glass is gonna be a little bit bigger anyways. I'm definitely not gonna say that the weight is not an issue. I'm just saying that I would think it would matter a little bit less to them than it would to say an EOS M user who really may just be getting into cameras and they would maybe want a very small you know, travel kit or maybe they're gonna be using it for vlogging and they want a really, really light camera and some light lenses, then to somebody who's been into cameras for a long time that is really looking for that extra reach and speed at a fairly decent price. Also, if we look at other rumors, there's been rumors that an RP Mark II will be coming out, which will already be a very low end full frame camera. So I think the RP Mark I is coming in at right about $899 right now. So with the cheaper entry full frame cameras already here and also coming in the future, I can see them saying maybe they don't actually need a M50 follow up right away. Maybe they can postpone that to a little bit further in the future when they can actually have the time to maybe develop some smaller kit lenses to go along with it and maybe push that to either later 2022 or maybe even early 2023. And I would think that this first one, hopefully coming up within the first half of 2022, would be the Canon EOS R7. 
But those are just my thoughts and the reasons that I think that the R7 is gonna be the most likely camera to come out right away. Maybe you completely disagree with me. Maybe you think that there's a need for an EOS M50 or whatever they're gonna be calling that RF version of that camera. Maybe you think that we absolutely need that type of camera right away. Or maybe you disagree and think that even if this is gonna be an R7, this needs to ship out right away with lenses that is designed for the APS-C bodies. And you completely disagree with the premise that them having the RF lenses that they have right now would suffice for an R7 type camera. Drop in the comment section below and give me all your thoughts. If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.